I was thinking today, my vision started worsening when I was 19 and I was diagnosed when I was 21. What happened at 19? back on your screen with another vlog hope you're well it's monday all i could give you guys yesterday was a pool montage that's pretty much all i did i did not have it in me to give but today we're gonna start off right i'm actually getting ready to go for lunch with my uncle i haven't seen him in a while yesterday though i was out of commission it was a write-off you saw the end of last week's vlog which i have to edit when i get back you know why it was a wrap that was the most elaborate, extravagant, beautiful affair. I'm so honored that I was part of it and I was able to be there for my friend on her special day. Can't believe she's a whole wife now. But anyway, let me not. I started to cry during the wedding. I'm like, who am I? I've never been the happy crier until Saturday. Anywho, let's go. Let's go have some lunch. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera because my uncle always roasts me about being a content creator. So I might just catch a few snippets with my phone, but I'll see you guys on HD when we get back. Hola, how are you? Hola, hola, how are you? Well, how are you? It's 12.20, I haven't potted yet. So I have to wake up early to make my two podcasts, especially since I'm not sure if they're doing construction and it's supposed to be up by eight. It's not going to be, so sorry to my Patreon fam. It's going to be a late pod. <gasps> I'm just waiting for the vlog to render so that I can upload it while I'm sleeping. Hopefully by the time I wake up, there's no copyright claims, but we'll see. And at least my Euro fam is gonna be able to see it because if you guys are six hours ahead, it's actually a good time for you. But guys, every week, as if I don't know I have a weekly vlog due. It's because I wasn't feeling well yesterday. I think when I took off my fake eyelashes from the wedding, I ripped them because like there's a scabby part here. Let me not poke my eyes and be more blind than I already am, but I feel like it's, yeah, I don't know if it's a piece of glue or if it's a scab from pulling it, but it's bumpy. All right, I don't even know if you guys can see me, if I'm in frame. <gasps> All I do know is I see you guys in the morning, night, night. That's all you need to know. Annoyed doesn't even begin to describe how I feel today. I thought I'd feel better because I had a good night's rest. I'm still annoyed. My podcasts were two and a half hours delayed, so sorry about that. I tried my best to get up in time. Luckily, there wasn't any construction, so it was all me. I can't even lie. <clears throat> I have so much work to do, and I'm not in the mood. Maybe it's a good thing that I have a therapy session for my lunch break to bring me back to planet Earth. <sighs> I'm so annoyed, guys. You don't even understand. And I'm trying to get better over sharing in the vlogs because it's not like I have ops or anything, but there's certain things I don't want to say that I save for the Patreon so the Patreon fam knows what's up. But anyway, orange juice from 8 a.m. Where am I at right now? Okay. 
I don't have time for a real meal. Even though my therapist always says, oh yeah, you can eat. It's your lunch break, so eat during. I just feel weird eating in front of a screen. You know, we used to do Zoom parties at the beginning of the pandemic, and they're like, oh, eat. No, that was just, it's weird. It's giving no for me. But I did wash some strawberries, so maybe I'll have that to snack on. Whatever, guys, I will check in with you when I am in a better mood. It sucks because my godmother drove all the way here yesterday, saw her for maybe two minutes. She dropped off a gift, Christmas in July. And I was in such a doo-doo mood and I don't get to see her often. So I wish I had more spirit energy, but that's how it goes sometimes. Not my towel falls on the floor. I might have to clean my house. I don't even know what tea I want today. I don't have time to make a matcha, so. Let's do some more chai. Should I do it iced? Yeah, it's kind of hot, why not? I did it yesterday iced and it wasn't that good. So actually I'm gonna do salted caramel. Salted caramel. Thanks, Bridge, for interrupting. <laughs> I have checked with a few other people because I thought it was just me, and they're like, no, your fridge is actually allowed. So I think something's wrong with it. Okay. Bio 10. I'm almost done. And I said after this run, I'm going to give it a break just to see how much of a difference it makes. Plus, I really want my hairline to come in. I'm wishing for something I never had to begin with. Anyways, talk to you later, guys. fix-all, end-all, be-all. Am I in the frame? I don't know. Let me go back a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm so extra for no reason. Anyway, as I was saying, yesterday my godmother came by. Oh, is there really flakes under my eye? And I don't have time to get a mirror. Let's proceed. Christmas in July, eh? It's because we were in a lockdown during the winter. And all I keep hearing about is other cities and countries going into lockdown, so. Dun, da, da, da. She knows I love white everything. So she got me a super fluffy white towel. Excited. This is how you know, adulting 101, you're excited for towels. I really am though. And I can feel there's more goodies. If there's a card, I'm gonna be sad she didn't read it out to me. Okay, I'm gonna take my phone and zoom and read it. Off screen. I feel like cards are such a personal thing. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Oh wow. Shmoney, eh? <laughs> I'm such a dork. Oh, she wrote pretty big. I still can't read it though. I might have been able to read it a couple months ago. All the best for I think. I think I'm reading it right. I'll zoom in and confirm later. Cool. The arsenal's so real. If you saw last week's vlog, you saw Nadine got me body care too. I love Doves. I don't know if she knows that from the vlogs, but mm, this one smells good too. Oh yes. Is this a coconut scented one? I can't tell what it says, but I'm sure it smells good. Let's see. Wait, is this? Wait, hold up. Is this body wash? It smells like bubble bath. <clears throat> I'll zoom in and see what that is. It's been a couple hours since you last saw me. The glasses are on because I've been staring at the screen trying to figure some things out and also work on tomorrow's video that was supposed to be last Friday's video. But don't you worry. When you see it, if you're an Atlanta fan, you're going to love it. Hopefully. I mean, anytime I do one of my little reviews, I'm just like, fingers crossed people don't think I'm crazy and overanalyzing things because I love to go off. I'm an overthinker. So I get to get my overthinking on doing these Atlanta reviews. And we're going back to basics with season one, episode one for this one. I kind of want to shower again, but like I just showered. <laughs> Swallowing pills will never get easy. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. Which reminds me, I got a lot of my plants and I might need to throw those roses away after I filmed today. Where did the sun go? It better not rain, because I need to film a video this morning. 
Anywho, I'm gonna start off with some matcha. I haven't had matcha. I don't even remember the last time I had matcha. That lets you know. I've been so out of character lately with all this wedding stuff. I've fallen out of routine. I have to get in the habit of talking to you and not the wall. I notice that sometimes when I'm editing, I'm like, how can you guys hear me? Sorry about that. This is my weak attempt at trying to revive a lemon that I zested. Because obviously the skin keeps it moist, but now that I took the skin off, it's hard AF and I wanted to use it to make lemon tea. But it might be a casualty. Anywho, on the roster today, as per usual, a lot of work to do. Like I said, I want to film, but I also got to figure out how to make these camera settings optimized because it's a whole mess. Kind of like my gym stuff this morning. That's why I can take you guys downstairs. I look like floundering fish. I guess I'm low on matcha again. Seriously? I saw they dropped a watermelon flavored one and I'm like, hey, that's perfect for the summer. I wonder if it's any good. Maybe I'll order some today to see. I usually don't order from David's team unless they have a sale. It's one of those companies where I feel like they train us because they have the sale so often and it's a pretty good one. But I don't usually shop regular price. Now that I think about it, it's been a minute since I bought anything regular price. Even when I shop on Amazon, I wait till things go down in price in my cart or they have like the $5 off coupon before I purchase. There's always a cheaper option out there thanks to globalization, right? Anyway, enough rambling for me. Check in with you guys later. Look for, look for pocket, right? Doctor who? Where are you, doctor? No one will refer you here. Uh, I don't know. This was like a decade ago. No, because I don't, I, I don't have your clients, so I cannot remember. Yeah, I don't know either because I was referred a decade ago, so I don't have a regular optometrist. I just went yeah, to... Yeah, you can ask your mom. I think she knows. No, she didn't get in, She didn't get a letter. That's what I'm saying. So we all pray for you. Thank you. And good luck to you for your new doctor as well. <laughs> Thank you. I need the luck. <laughs> yeah. All right. Take care of your vision. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Thank you. So... Don't call that number, Alicia, okay? Oh, yes, the 188. I'll call it now. Oh my gosh. I hate that my camera does this. I was talking to you guys and it just shut off. And it doesn't even alert me that it shut off. So, what's a girl to do? Anywho, that's my cue to stop chatting too much to you. Maybe I'll explain the situation later today when I've cooled off a bit. I'm gonna have some of my cream of wheat porridge. This is a comfort food. I haven't had this since I was a child when I used to go to my great grandma's house for the weekends such a Caribbean thing to eat. It's like so thick because I made it an hour ago, not expecting the conversations and the goose chase for an optometrist to be so long. Music. Oof. Okay, today is not the day, right? There we go. I'm just gonna put music underneath what I'm talking about so you won't tell it. the fridge is rumbling loudly in the background. I also have to add a soft box. No, it's gonna take too long to set up the soft box. I'm gonna do the square light on top. And that way, even with the clouds coming in, the subject will be lit properly. Okay, so boom. Which reminds me, I said I was going to do a video last month on how I do all of this when I can't see well. And considering that my vision got worse, <laughs> it's an even better opportunity to show you guys how I do this. Um, where's the novel? Novel? The knob. I've been making up words all the time. Okay, so boom. Is that good? I feel like it needs to nudge over a little bit. It's not focusing. Yeah, it definitely needs to nudge a lot, a lot of bit. Okay, make sure it's down a little bit. There we go. And test. I always say I should push my chair back and I never do. Oh, I gotta light the candles in the background even though no one ever sees when they're lit. <laughs> okay, so, let's see. How did that come out? Okay, definitely needs to be notched up. I don't know what it is, having nails on you, I don't know what it is about having nails, but I feel so much more feminine. Like whenever I touch something, I'm like, oh, that's my hand. I think it's because I hate how wrinkly my hands are. 
so it takes away from it. Let's see. Is that ankle better? Okay, now that's too high. Oh my gosh. Let's get the Goldilocks. Try that. Yeah, that's better. That's much better, actually. It's a little off. Yeah, see, it's still too high. afternoon so I'm kind of late checking in with you sorry I didn't check in with you guys yesterday <sighs> right off okay today could also be a write-off because my cycle is really playing games with your girl I am going through it I don't know if you can tell but I don't wish this on anybody <sighs> what always baffles me is why hasn't the body evolved to only do this when you're ready to have a child. It just doesn't make sense to happen every month for a hundred years. Anywho, grateful that my body works as opposed to some others who don't. I need to figure out what's going on with this camera because ever so often it just shuts off mid-conversation with you and it's so annoying. <gasps> I just realized something. I'm gonna have to sort that out later. I'm still working with Final Cut Pro. The video that I was supposed to have up yesterday, I couldn't because there's some glitches with my plugins. So I'm going to do my best. I'm actually emailing customer support right now or tech support, I guess. And we'll hope that gets sorted out because I tried doing all the things I did the last time this happened. Plus, I reinstalled it four times, shut off my computer five times, and it's just not working. So if you watched the last vlog, you notice the intro looks a little different because I just did a really bootleg makeshift one in the meantime. But I want to have my original title card back up. Ooh, I got to wipe this down. I'm not here for this. She not here for this. What was I saying? Yeah, I need to figure out the whole Final Cut Pro thing. Today looks so nice and sunny. It didn't thunderstorm over here. It said it was going to. And some people who were out and about were letting me know, yeah, it is actually raining in this part of Toronto. So it kind of sucks because I wanted to go to a patio so badly yesterday. And I was thinking, oh, I won't go if it rained. And it didn't rain and I still didn't go. I don't know if I want to go today. I'm not really in the mood with my situation. <laughs> So I am downtown at Bathurst and Bloor. I'm gonna to go to Herbs and Nutrition, the store I'm taking you to before, just to show you some supplements I think that are gonna help me see a little better. We won't know until we try, right? It's so windy, can you even hear me? Not the guy driving the truck watching me vlog. <laughs> Girl, the store was so helpful. She helped me get a blend that had two of the things that I needed. Ooh, sir, usually the annex is a lot quieter. Hopefully you can still hear me. It's crazy that I used to be in this neighborhood once a week. It feels like a whole different life. Life just changes quickly. All I'm going to say is I'm going to look for a drink because I'm thirsty. Walk around for a little bit because I haven't been downtown for a minute. And I probably won't be coming back here since the subway shut down this weekend. So let me just show you this is what my little city has to offer. It doesn't look like much, but you should come back at the night time and see. This cafe. I need a coffee, but I don't know what time it is. This used to be a really good ice cream shop. Honestly, I 
feel a thousand times better. I haven't taken an Advil since this morning, so that's a good thing. And I got a couple things. As you can see, I went to Home Sense. I couldn't resist. I couldn't find a smoothie spot or a fresh juice bar. All I saw were bubble tea shops, and I forgot how Asian aside the annex became. Not a bad thing. Your girl used to love bubble tea back in the day. And I kind of grew out of it. I don't know what it was. One day I had it, and I'm like, why am I paying $6 for some milk and some tea? I mean, Starbucks does the same thing, if you know what I mean. But that's also why I don't go there anymore. If I'm going to be spending more than $3 on a drink, you better believe it's all natural or it's an indie cafe. Support local cafes. Okay. Which I haven't done in a minute. I haven't taken you guys to a cafe in a couple of weeks. I'll do it at least once before July is over. I got cauliflower because it was on sale. Can you believe cauliflower is $5 now? <coughs> the world is an expensive place. And then these were on sale. Like I said, every shop I have to go and get bananas. But whenever there's oat milk on sale, you know your girl's going to snatch it up because that's what we do over here. I got this. Let's see. She said that there is... I don't know what it says. I think it says Eye Bright Blend. What does it say? I showed you guys on the street. I'm gonna zoom in later and see what it says. I'm just happy she got me a formulation that I don't have to put in my eye because I saw homeboy take a shot glass with some Eye Bright in it and put it right to his eye. And I said, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know about that. I got some spinach, which is also good for your vision. And I, saw, I started thinking, you know what? I might not be a dietitian, so I can't advise people who have diseases and what, but I still have enough knowledge to let you guys know what's up. And if you are an OG, let me know if you remember my ABCs in nutrition. I deleted the series because I was so embarrassed by how I spoke. Hey guys, welcome back. Now we're doing B for banana. Like that's how I spoke back then. I don't know why I thought that was a thing. Although some people still, some people have said my voice is very soothing the way I talk normally or that it's very annoying, like I talk like I'm bored all the time, which I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. What I do know though, is gotta put these groceries away, pour the milk into the glass jars, cause you know I'm all about that aesthetic. I feel like I say that every vlog. And then I'm gonna get back to work. Thank God Pixel support was real quick with it. And I got the system working on some of the plugins. All the plugins are restored, but some of them I have to redo because the file is corrupted. So that's super annoying on top of having to edit the video. It's gonna be up by eight or nine tonight, which is kind of late for upload time, but better late than never. And then randomly, I was like, you know what? I need some new ice cube trays because there's a couple TikToks I want to do before the summer's over. And they had these, which when I saw them on Amazon were triple the price. I got these for five plus tax and these for eight plus tax, which might sound like a lot because it still kind of is for an ice cube tray. I mean, this is not multi-purpose, but hey, when these are 12 or 13 or 14 dollars online, I'm happy that Home Sense is a thing. There was such a long line in there. I'm like, everyone working from home and just taking an extended lunch break or what because there was a lot of people in the store today i can't wait to take these i need to read how to take them but the first thing first i hate these seals whenever i go to the hair store they always have these stickers with the sensor tags so if you try to teeth it won't be i oh my airpods are coming out the podcasts i was listening to were so good there's a couple ones about news which i'm not too fond of but if it's about current news and what's going on in the world, I do want to be in the know. But if it's about just sad and tragic stuff in Toronto, no, you can, you can keep that. Ooh, these earrings, I need to get real ones because these were $8 from Claire's and I've had them for three years, but um, yeah, it's a no for me. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys either later or tomorrow. I can't believe tomorrow's Friday. Like, Oh my gosh.
morning, guys. This morning has been a catastrophe. My morning meeting at 9 a.m. Now it's going to be at 5. Kind of my fault. Smoothie is supposed to have avocado in it. I was making it. I'm like, it's missing something. I'm like, avocado. I have avocados, but they're not ripe enough yet. <laughs> and luckily you can't see the mess, but I tried to film a TikTok, which was a fail. Good thing it was my practice run with the new trays. And I'm trying to make a super late breakfast that I should have had two hours ago, but you know how that goes. So just one of them days, but at least I got my Starbucks creamer. It's the little things in life, okay? I may not like going to Starbucks itself anymore. Oh, by the way, in case you guys are interested, it says three capsules, two times daily. Super spooky is going on with my camera. I was talking to you while I was making my cream of wheat and I was like, something is telling me that I'm not in view. It cut my head off. Anyways, all you missed that I said was a couple of rambling and that we're gonna go to Yorkdale in a little bit because I'm gonna get two more of these. I don't know why I only bought two when I bought them and they've been sold up for two months. They finally restocked. So I prepaid for two, I'm just gonna pick them up. I was also thinking about getting two more of these, but I don't have space in my cabinets. That's the problem when you have so many mixed match glassware. I always bought two of everything because I thought me and whoever would be my future bae when I first moved in here, but yeah, I should have bought four. <laughs> Especially when you're entertaining people, it's kind of awkward to be like, you guys have the wine glasses and I'll have this. Why did... So at least I'll have one set of those glasses because I love them. I initially saw them many moons ago on Urban Outfitters. I wish I'd snatched them up then because I had 30% off. They were always giving out 30% coupons back then. And these are expensive because, you know, Crate and Barrel is expensive, but they're not as expensive as Amazon. That's the thing. I was telling you guys yesterday, but again, my camera keeps cutting off, so I don't know what parts I've said in this vlog and what parts I haven't. But all I do know is that I try to order them off Amazon and they sell them in sets of six, which is a bit much, but I figured the extra two could be for breakage, you know, because life happens. But it's like $80 and buying these separately is still cheaper than that, which says a lot. I probably have to change my outfit, even though this is my mood today. It's a super sunny, beautiful day, but it's only 21 degrees. And this outfit, this ensemble right here is giving 31, 41 degrees. I'm going to be cold out there because I was cold wearing pants yesterday. So I might, you know what? I haven't worn a dress in a long time. And that mall is bougie AF, so I might just be able to. We'll see. I'm two hours behind schedule, so let me just get back on track and I'll check in with you guys later when I'm leaving to go. Double, double, toys in trouble, fire burn, cauldron bubble. Come on, cream of wheat. It's time to eat. Oh, she got bars. <laughs> Count on me to leave my SD card plugged into my computer at home. So I'm just using my phone. Sorry, the quality is trash. But let's flip it. Can you tell what she came for? Sorry, the audio is going to be off and the lighting might be too. Where are the bubble glasses? Yo, these are really trendy on Instagram as well. I was also considering getting these. I don't know why I love them. They're so simple. There's not really much to it, but I think it's because it's so short. That cute. But it's these ones. Tell me what it is about this glass. It's so classy, but I didn't come for this. And I don't even drink drinks that go in this. the bag <laughs> I know that's not what the saying is for but I'm back and I am so thirsty I'm gonna drink a whole maybe two glasses of water I really need to re-up on my water intake but I hand wash my mask so many people don't wear them anymore if you like it I love it I don't care wear it if you want to don't if you want to I don't know why people are so polarized it's just like anything else in life people are gonna have their opinion on it right but all I do know is, I wonder if I have enough patience to try to do that TikTok again. I can't do a caffeinated drink, it's too late for that though. So I might wake up super early tomorrow and redo it and maybe do another drink. I was like, what's my next cocktail for Instagram gonna be? It has to be something that has at least four ingredients. Cause the rum had seven 
and the margarita I had four or three. I don't know. Whatever. I'll Google it later. Listening to the receipts podcast. If you know, you know. If you don't, yo, sometimes the dildo is on there. Oh, mess. I'm still laughing at the fact that I left my SD card at home. As soon as I saw that there was words on the screen, I can't read what it says, but I was like, of course. I just pictured my SD in the back of the computer. I knew it was going to happen once. I just didn't think it would happen so soon since I got this camera. As long as I don't do that on a vacation, I don't care. It's not the end of the world. It was just Yorkdale. So anyways, let me wash this glassware. Now I actually have a full set. It's all about setting the intentions, right? I'm not into manifestation, but there's a lot to be said about making room for the right things in your life. So I'm super hyped, super hyped. I mean, you've seen these before. I was so tempted to buy two other styles, a really tall one for smoothies and another double old fashion glass for Boulevardiers or Fashions Negronis. I don't drink any of those. All of those drinks are too strong for your girl. And I'm even thinking of cutting out alcohol altogether because I was thinking today, my vision started worsening when I was 19 and I was diagnosed when I was 21. What happened at 19? Well, in Ontario, that's when you're legal to drink. So that could be a trigger. Also high stress from being in what, third year at the time? And what was the third thing I was thinking? Oh, I was working in the sun a lot and UV rays kill your eye cells and it's even worse when you have an eye disease. So who knows what it could be. I'm sitting on and I'm co-signing this wave coming up next stop. Right around in the shotgun and her tested. Hanging both of my legs out there like, what's up? I got steaks and they too hot now, I can't fuck up. I like girls that's down to earth so I don't be stuck up. I don't take L's, I give them out and I chuck them up. First listen, they hearing this shit like, what the fuck? Ten toes, that's my M.O. Fam of a gram, that's my M.O. Fuck a close. There goes figure one, specimen A, my uncle. Why did he walk the long way? I haven't been in a bookstore like this in a hundred years. Afternoon, guys. So, <clears throat> I was my uncle earlier today, trying to make up for lost time because he doesn't live in this country and he's thinking about leaving in September. So there's that. I went to the gym this morning. I gulped water and I was so thirsty. I had three cups at brunch today. Sorry I didn't bring you guys. I just kind of wanted to have a little decompression time. Plus the brunch wasn't that good. I'm not going to tell you where I went because, you know, the place pays the bills for a lot of people, feeds a lot of families. It wasn't that good. I haven't been there in a decade and I don't think I'll be going back. It wasn't horrible, but it just wasn't good. And one of the conversations we had today was this idea of Torontonians being complacent and being okay with what is instead of wanting more and better. Actually, let me not do that because I need to shower and get ready to go back out because we're going somewhere today. I'll probably not vlog or at least I'll do a vertical video and splice it together for you guys because there's going to be a lot of people that I don't know and I don't really want to put a camera in their face. But I'm going to an event in Pickering today and I'm hyped up about it. It's such a beautiful day, so hot, I love it. I just need to shower and refresh a bit and I'll show you my next outfit. This is what I wore for brunch. Very niece-like, right? <laughs> I don't know where they, oh, it's here. I was like, where's the case for these sunglasses? Cause I'm not gonna wear these ones today. I don't know if this is the event that's themed or if it's the other thing, cause I might be mixing up something else. All I do know though, is I have an hour to get ready I might even have time to edit a little bit, so let's get, let's get in the shower. <sighs> Yo, honestly, <clears throat> I picked up this juice on the way back. I was so thirsty in the scorching heat. I love when it says hot, but I wish I was prepared for it. This is the best juice ever. It better be for $14, 14 Canadian dollars. It is burdock root, cayenne, turmeric, and ginger. It's like a fireball, but big version. So good. This is cleaning and making up for brunch today. That's all I'm gonna say. Why is the lighting so weird? Okay, this is my first outfit option. It's a pool party, so I figured jean shirts, crop top, you can't go wrong, right? What about this? It's giving more whimsical. More whimsical. <laughs> wow, I didn't even realize you can't see the full fit from where you are. Shorts. They say people love what they love and they know what they know. 
my little beach dress. Literally can't go wrong, it's so easy. And plus, if I feel like it's doing the most, all I gotta do is fold it under, and ta-da, I got a mini dress. And it's hiding my bloating too, so I think this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Warm up your hip, little bit. Warm up your hip. Oh. <laughs> 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 